Hello and welcome. Today we are doing an episode of Farmer Life Simulator. This is a brand new game by DNA Army Gaming. You can join their Discord right here. Creators. And we're going to jump into a new game. Delete the old one. Where I was testing. Go on easy. Because why not? And start the game. Now this is the dev build. This is not the forward life simulator. Alright, load in, staring at the ceiling. So WASD to move. And we'll come downstairs. Let's just check out our house. Nice kitchen, glass top table. It actually looks pretty comfortable. Showing unit. This is the bathroom. You can use the toilet. There's no need in this game for using the bathroom and all that. So there's our truck. There's our garden. Just grab the empty crate. There we go. Then we harvest with F. And it just puts them straight in there. Three plants will fill a crate. So we'll just run over here. Put it in the truck. Let's hop in our truck. We will head to town and sell our vegetables. All right. Tutorial says press M to open map. So you can see this map is a little bit different. It actually zooms out from where you're at so it gives you an idea of where you are in the world. Looks pretty straightforward. So we're just going to follow this road down to town. Uh, swing a little bit wide on the curves. You don't want to get going too fast here because there is a pretty sharp curve right here at the bottom of the hill. The brakes. Hope our tomatoes ride pretty good. There's the gas station if you need it to gas up. Oh, almost didn't make my turn. Oh, thank you, Ben. She helped me straighten out. Right back on the road. You can buy that store once you have enough money. <laughs> right here is well where we sell our vegetables. Get a parking spot. Looks like how I'd park in real life. Just barely on the lines. Alright, we're going to grab our tomatoes. Run in here. This is the selling point. And you can sell either by talking to him. It says $44. We can sell it. Or you can look at the sign and it tells you what all the different things you're selling at. So that's that. Now we need to buy tomato plants from the nursery. Straight across right there, that's the restaurant where you buy your food. But we don't need to worry about food just yet. We will later on. So there are all of your controls over there. Your handbrake is the spacebar. Y is your reduction gear. You'll see why we need that here in a minute. H is your horn. L is lights. V, you can change the camera. Let me get past this corner and I'll show you that. F, of course, is to leave your truck. Okay. So you can go first person view to drive. And this is where you use your reduction gear. Do 
distance to get up over that hill. But not really a fan of first person view. Right, slow down here because there is a little hump here at the bottom of the hill. I'd love if that was straightened out just a little bit. All right, and we're coming up to the farm. Here's the farmer and his dog. Some, uh, tomato plants from him. Just park right there. Looks good. Okay. Well, sir, these are all the plants you have for sale. We've got tomato plants. We do need those. We have apple plants. Hot pepper plants. Now, we can't buy these yet because you need a higher reputation. You got bell pepper plants, eggplants, pear plants, orange, avocado, carambola, passion fruit, and many plants. So, we need to buy fertilizer, it says. So, buy that. So there's six bottles in there. One bottle will do three plants. There's six in here. So six bottles will do 12 plants. And we have 12 plants. So one box of fertilizer for two crates is plenty. We also need crates. Doesn't tell you that, but you will need them. One crate holds three plants. There's six plants, so we need two empty crates for every crate that we buy. So that means four. So we buy that. Buy that. All right, we have nine hundred and twenty-two dollars left. This is your fertilization system. It's a thousand dollars. If you buy that, it auto fertilizes it. And this is your irrigation system for 500 and I'm going to go ahead and buy it and these items place just like they do in Trader Life so basically you click the place and you can line things up nicely and neatly or as messily as you want so now we're back in the truck all right come on. and we're headed home we have to unpack the plants at our farm You can do it. Okay, pressure controls. We have, um, actually, we have blinkers. So if you want to turn right. Hit the E key if you want to turn left. See how it goes. Hit the Q key. Hit it once to turn it on, another time to turn it off. Right, let's see if we can make it up this hill. A little bit steep. depending on how much speed you have when you hit that hill. Sometimes you don't slow down out there and you'll be up through here before you slow down. Okay. 
Okay, um, other signals or keys. R will reset the truck. If you happen to flip, leave the road, crash, get stuck somewhere, just hit the R button and it'll kind of toss your truck up, straighten it up. And then G, you can hide those controls, get them out of your way. Because they do take up quite a bit of your screen there. truck. Jump it here. Start setting things down. Okay, tomato plants. So here, see there's our watering system. We'll unpack those. Get our apple plants. Now you can buy more. It's $500. We don't quite have enough for that. Here's our fertilizer and we've got one bottle to start with. I like to just unpack the box there because it makes it handy. Now these we won't need quite yet today. We'll just need these tomorrow in the morning when we go to harvest. So I'm going to stack them up over here out of the way. That's still handy. Alright. Pick it up with quick. Plant with F. Now they are watered. You can see there in the middle where the water is green. It means it's watered. Fertilizer is red, which means it is not not fertilized yet. We will plant these. I think we'll just leave those because we'll need those in the morning. So let's fertilize. Okay. On each of those. One bottle does three plants, like I said. And if you don't buy the irrigation system right off the bat, what you would then do is grab your water can, F to fill it here, and then F to water. But they're already watered, so we don't have to worry about that. So they can just sit down. Alright, so it's only 4 p.m. on a Saturday. We can't sleep until 7, so let's go explore a bit. left my door open. Apparently there's no, uh... Well, I think that tutorial's going to stay there because I bought the irrigation system so I can't water my plants. That will be annoying. I'll mention that so, uh, that should get fixed. We kind of drifted around that corner a little bit. See a deer. She's going to park right here. And 
Hey, you playing the game? Hmm. Looks like he's faking. So there's the pharmacy. There's the juice shop for sale. It is twenty five thousand. Sandwich shop. Busting like we own the place. Five dollars to buy food. Thanks, thank you. More cookies. So that's the vegetable shop where we just sold our vegetables. And there's one on the other side of that building. We can run over there and look. I'm glad there's no other traffic because if you've seen any of my Lumberjacks or Farmer's Dynasty episodes, I, uh, I can be kind of a hazard on the roads. Okay. Be still. I need to get my brakes looked at. So here's this one. I can sell zero because I have nothing to sell. But this is where you'd sell these vegetables and it also has the... Now they sell for more. Did I not just sell the my tomatoes this morning for 44 So it might be a good idea to check the different shops to see how much they sell for. Especially once you get to having a full farm. Because once you come with a lot of vegetables at a time, that two dollars per crate would make a big difference. Okay, so we're going to take a look at the shop that we can buy. Here's the shop we sold at today. And here's the one you can buy. Ten thousand dollars. So hopefully that won't take too long to get. Once you own your own vegetable shop, you can sell vegetables yourself instead of selling them to the other shop. Because of course, uh, wholesale is not as good a price as retail. So it's 8 p.m. It is starting to get dark. We're heading up the hill to go home. I see I made it further up the hill that time before it slowed me down.
Come on, Turk, you can do it. Almost there. Almost there. You can do it. There we go. Okay. Alright, it is 9 p.m., which means we can go to bed and start the next morning. So I do want to take a look at the next day. Alright, welcome. Yeah. Tutorials popping up again. There's the map. Another watering can. Well, I can't use the watering can, can I? See, it won't let me. Maybe it'll let me if I'm quick enough when I go to plant. Alright, so F. Harvest. I think it's going to let us. Oh. oh, I think we did actually get it. I was fast enough. I was able to get that off. Alright. Now we can pick this up. Grab our fertilizer. Grab the fertilizer. And fertilize these three. Here we go. I just put these in the truck. And my truck turned itself around last night. That's always handy. Tomatoes. Alright, let's get in the truck and take these to the shop. I'm just going to take a little uh, straight shot here instead of trying to do all those curves. Brakes on the hill. Alright, so today we're going to check prices on the two shops. See how much they changed since we did sleep. And then once I sell the uh, vegetables here, fruits and vegetables, if we have apples, then I will I'll probably just end the episode here. But I'm just saying, don't let me drive a big truck like this because apparently I am not the greatest driver. Sorry about your sidewalk there. Oops. Okay. 52 for tomatoes and 57 for apples. 52 and 57. I think I'm just going to run straight across here instead of driving all the way around. Excuse me, sir. Did make it over that edge. All right, hello. How much is your stuff? Fifty-two and fifty-seven for the apples. Okay, this store is definitely selling them for a little bit more. So guess what we're doing? 
we get blocked by a wall. We are going to sell our stuff at this store. Dude, get off your phone. Oops, you stuck my stamina. Okay, you do have to use the bathroom. Someone had said he didn't. But I guess they were wrong. And I don't pay attention to it because... I think I always just use the bathroom anyway because I was so used to doing it in the trader life. You go home for the night, you use the bathroom, you take a bath, and you go to bed. There's no bath in this one, but there is toilet needs. So we'll have to do that when we get home as well. Swing around the corner. And before we end the episode, though, once we sell these, we will go ahead and take a look at the rest of the map real quick. Just to kind of show what all's here. Straighten up. You don't park in the store, you park at the store. Because the truck drives itself, it's not me. Alright, we got our tomatoes. I should have backed in here. Note to self, back, back up into the store. It'll be a lot easier on yourself. More tomatoes. Wheels look a little stuck in the concrete. Maybe that was wet concrete. My bad. i fix that when I'm gone. Okay, so two at 57 and one at 60 will give us 174 at the sale. Thank you. We now have $591. So we can go buy more stuff. Okay, let's take a look at the map. Again, I really like that the map spins up from where you are on the map because then it gives you an idea of where you are just in case you get lost. So our home is up here in the top right corner. Looks like the barn is also up that way. Not just mean house and farm. The nursery is to the top center, a little bit to the left with a little seedling and a little pot gas station car mechanic let's go down the car mechanic way that road will curve around and come up to our house oh stop grinding gears and there is a little barn back there with uh, some tractors and stuff I'm not sure if there's a use for it yet but we can go take a look Never hurts to explore. Just to get to take a look around. Looks like his barn is open. Check this up out. Contractor we got. No brand names, that's okay. Looks comfy. Back of wood. That's some hay. Doors open. This is nice. Very nice. Is this something we can buy later on? Maybe raise some cows? Sheep? Chickens? Don't know. I'll have to wait and see. Excuse your tractor. Sorry. Uh, it's just a bumper car. At least I only hit the tire. It's a big old tractor tire. You're fine. You're fine. No harm, no foul. So we'll just follow this little road out. The tractor parked in the middle of the road, so we'll just uh, go around him. Okay, slow down. I'm not on those city roads anymore. There's the car mechanic. 
Oh, that that is a rough. That that is rough. Get back on the road. It's gotta be smoother than the off-roading. That's a rough spot. Okay. Reduction gear it is. Well, there's a few uh, potholes in this road. I need to get the uh, road department out here to take a look at it. Here we go. We do it. It's not so bad. I would be having a fit if I was driving up this road in real life. Come on. I'm supposed to go forward, not backwards. Up the hill we go. You can do it. Maybe you can't. Add the least resistance. Let's go. Come on. Come on. Oh, I'm getting stuck. Come you can make it out of there. There we go. There we go. Alright, probably not the best decision to try to come up this way. Truck is not liking this road one bit. Maybe off road is smoother. I've actually seen roads like that where the road itself is so rutted and potholed that it was better to just take the shoulder of the road than the actual road. log in the road. Can we make it over it? Oh, we might be stuck. Nope, nope, nope. Oh, that, that is, that is one tough truck. I'm impressed. Alright, can we make it over this hill? It is 3 p.m. on a Sunday. Is the nursery open? There's our house. Don't fall down the hill. Okay. Whew, we made it. Sigh of relief. <laughs> Alright. So. We should have plants planted. I think we got three apple plants in there. But we do need to go ahead and get more plants from the nursery. Whoa, slow down. Slow down. You're not very good at drifting. Stop. Just stop, 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 stop. Stop. At least it wasn't a hard crash. Alright. So we're going to go to the nursery and get some more plants and um, probably just more tomato and apple and fertilizer and empty crates. I'll stock up on all that stuff so in the next episode we will look at um, I don't know, maybe buying the fertilizing system if we have enough. That would be nice. So we'll just see how it goes. I'll see you in the next episode. Just take my uh, right turn up here to head to the nursery.
Bye.